What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodsworld.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial and today we're gonna animate an earth rotating and also gonna be transitioning between daytime and nighttime and it's gonna be a really cool tutorial we're gonna use all in Maya we're not gonna use any after effects or any compositing techniques and the technique I'm gonna show you guys it can be applied to multiple situations not just for this case so it's gonna be a fun tutorial so without further delay let's get started Okay, so this is the scene I have. Uh, as you can see, I have this uh, sphere uh, of the Earth, and this sphere is uh, appropriately UV'd for our uh, texture that we use in 3D Models World. And uh, let's start creating the shader. So first, let's go to the Hyper Shade. And for now, you can see it's just have a Lambert shader, and we need to change that to the Arnold in order to render correctly. So let's click on Arnold shaders and then AI standard surface and then let's select the earth and then right click and assign material to selection this way we already have the new material and we're not gonna apply the textures directly into this shader we need to create a layer shader instead so let's click on Maya and then let's scroll down to the layer texture layer texture and then let's select it and then here we need to create the two textures basically first one is gonna be for the daytime and then the second one will be for the nighttime let's create the daytime so let's click on this one and then the color let's go to the earth day and then grab and connect it so now we have this uh, texture then let's click beside it here so we can create another texture and let's grab that uh, earth night and then apply it to the uh, color slot Okay, so now we have those two textures applied. The next thing need, we need to do is let's connect the out color into the base color. So now we should see back this texture again showing the daytime. If we flip this texture to be in front, it should switch to the earth nighttime. Okay, so that's good. So we know now the layer texture is working. So let's switch it back, middle mouse. So now, once we are happy with the layer texture, we get it set up nicely. Let's click on the AI standard surface and then let's start to adjust the look here uh, in Maya. So first, let's create a light. Lights, and then direction light should be fine. Let's press 7 to see the light direction. Okay, this could be good. Let's scale the light and then I'm, I'm just gonna move it away. And maybe like adjust this angle a little bit. And then I'm gonna be using this perspective as my main camera for now. Uh, let's center the earth in the middle. And then let's do quick render. Okay, so this is the render we got so far. So let's keep it here. And then we need to tweak some things. So the spec is really strong. So let's adjust that. Let's select the AI standard surface. And then under the specular here, let's increase the roughness from 0.1 to something around 0.8 to make it uh, less intense so let's save and then let's uh, render okay so already this will give us a much nicer uh, look it's become more flat and uh, it doesn't have this uh, strong specular on it anymore so another thing we need to do let's increase the weight in the base from 0.8 to almost 1 Let's take it all the way to one and then let's save and let's render. And that's to give us also another nice uh, adjustments to the shader so it's become more brighter because we have the colors correct. And then let's select the light. We can select it from here and then let's increase the intensity to around maybe four. It's gonna look pretty strong in the um, viewport but let's render and see what it looks like. First let's delete all previous screenshots save this one then let's render okay now the earth look uh, much brighter it start to get a little bit too bright on the clouds so what we can do now is we can adjust that um, that basically the roughness of the diffuse to make it uh, not like too intense so let's start adjusting this diffuse uh, roughness basically let's make it like 0 0.8 and let's save and so we can compare Okay, so you can see how before the clouds it was too intense, the color in them, like they're too bright, and now they become more uh, normal color. 
and the whole earth basically now become more like a flat like surface shader type effect where everything is lit evenly and it doesn't have uh, this too much like weird uh, 3d uh, effect on it so so that's pretty good for now you know the goal in this tutorial not to have like a realistic earth but just like to achieve this nice transition of day and night animation but we still we need to get the earth to look uh, relatively good and i'm pretty happy with this uh, result so far and uh, let's now move to the next step so now once we are happy with the earth let's select the layer texture and now we need to adjust uh, the transition between the daytime and then the nighttime so first let's select the earth daytime so you can see here there's an alpha and this alpha you can add an opacity map to it then you can control how is the transition going between this map and this map so let's click on it and then let's uh, add the ramp so this ramp basically gonna help us uh, have the transition so now let me close uh, this uh, viewport and then you can see here there is start to show up some lights into the daytime but uh, now the map is really wide and there's a difference between like uh, you know the opacity is really big so we need to reduce that so let's push the white here and then let's bring the black here as well and then let's see what we got so now the map is flipped so let's change that from the type from V to U ramp then let's check again and we already start to see how this transition is nicely between those two elements you can of course make it much more uh, wider the transition gap you see so so it's all up to you now let me try to make this smaller so we can see both so now we can adjust these and you can see it like in real time basically which is really cool so you can so you don't need to really guess but uh, like for now let's make the uh, relationship between those two pretty tight so the transition is not uh, happening over long uh, distance so this way we can have a nice uh, effect okay so maybe something like that is good and then now the way to basically animate this transition is pretty straightforward uh, we can go to the first frame here and then you can select the first uh, color and then here in select position you can right click and set the keyframe and then you select the white and then the same thing set keyframe so this way we set keyframe in frame one and then we can go all the way to 200 and then you can move them one by one it's totally fine because we know like the distance roughly how we want it to be now this way if you go all the way there it's gonna turn around 360 so let's turn that down we don't need to go all the way we just need to go to the edge so let's try to find that the edge maybe still let's push it back more okay so now we start to reach the edge let's push more forward so maybe something like that so you select key select this one as well and key if you have auto key turned on it's gonna automatically key for you so now if we press play you can see it's slowly transitioning between the dark uh, the day and night so let's go back to frame one and then we can push these guys even further back so we can have from like the edge to the edge so let's do that it should automatically key it didn't that's okay so we can push it back push this one back as well and then that's key selection that's key selection just to make sure it worked okay so now we're good so if we press play you're gonna see the transition is going nicely between the daytime night time one more thing we need to do here before uh, we finish the animation let's go to the animation graph editor and you can see here there's a slow ends and slow outs going on into the animation and we don't want that we don't want the transition to become like to start slow and then go fast and then slow back we want it to be like consistent or constant so you can select these curves and press on linear here and then let's close the graph editor and then if you press play now the speed is exactly the same and it feels more like natural okay so this is good you can of course let's go to like this frame and then let's render frame 
just to make sure it looks good here also yeah and we can see while it's rendering it's transitioning correctly between daytime and nighttime here okay so let's close that and then one last thing you can do in the animation you can select the earth itself then uh, let's close the hyper shield and then press s oh i did it in frame 88 so let's delete that let's go back to frame one press s and then go frame 200 and then maybe you can rotate it, the earth and y and then press this again so now that the earth is rotating but as you can see it's it's like stopped and then moves and then stop back and we don't want that we want it to feel the motion continuous so we go again to the graph editor and then we select the y curve and then we make it linear this way the motion will be the same So let's render around this frame and then see how it looks like. Let's save this frame. I just want to check the specular might be a little bit too strong. So let's go to the AI standard surface and then let's uh, check the specular here. And then let's try to turn it down 0.36. And let me delete all these previous. Let's save this one and let's render. Okay, that's much better. Okay, that's much better. So now we can see before it had this weird speck on it. Now it's become more natural. So the specular, I was having it too much. So you can tone it down. You can completely get rid of it. But it's nice to have a little bit specular. So it's, uh, so just give it like a nice uh, feeling, but without going too much. Of course, what you can do if you want to take this to the next level, uh, you can always uh, have an atmospheric effect onto the Earth itself. Now we don't have any atmospheric effects on it, and it's just like the, we're relying on the textures uh, and uh, lighting just to get like this uh, nice looking earth. But if you want to make it even better, you can have like a nice atmosphere surrounding the earth. But this we can do that in another tutorial. For now, I just wanted to show you guys how you can animate this uh, earth uh, transitioning between um, day and night and all in Maya, not use without using any after effects or anything. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe for more future videos. Feel free to check our website 3dmodesworld.com for the links and for more tutorials and cool 3D assets. Until next time, take care.